Today, Precarious plays Phantom Brave. Are you prepared for the deepest tragedy we've explored on this channel? I don't think anyone can be fully prepared for tragedy, but sure. No, no. The deepest tragedy. Oh my god! Okay, well, I thought he was missing an arm. He's okay. not missing an arm, so I'm already uplifted. I'm gonna be fine. They keep coming! How many are uh, there? Now, the voices are a little low. Let me try turning it up a skosh so that way we don't talk over people too much. Something's not right. Oh. We should get out of here. This is Phantom Brave. It is a sister product to Disgaea. Come on, guys! This way! Yeah a kind of spiritual successor in the same way that all NIS usually like Atlas published strategy titles in that sort of shared universe are like derivatives of a specific tactical formula, right? Right, okay. Um, so you know how narratively Disgaea was mostly comedy with a few heartfelt moments. Yeah, it was really goofy. Reverse that, flip it. Uh, That's Phantom Brave. So who are these people? Well, right now, I know all of these people because I've played this before. We're trapped. Any ideas, Ash? Okay, so there, now you know one of them. I'm. Is Ash the blue haired one. one or? Okay, Get this is Ash, Ash. Okay. Safe. Yeah. Just Ash is a little gender neutral. Right. Yes, that's true. And then Jasmine is... Is blue hair. Okay. By process of elimination. Blue hair. Unless unless uh, Ash is referring to one of the little imp creatures. Okay, so there's Ash, there's Jasmine. Yes. And who's green hairs? I don't think he's been introduced yet. I'll handle these guys. You'll go no further. For her sake, I will not fail. What is... His name. I know who the bleeding man is. Um, here. You know what? I am familiar with this. I will go over it with you very rapidly. Um, now they're tutorializing you? Yes. They've dropped you immediately into a desperate situation. Yeah, not my favorite, especially because Ash is powerful enough that really you don't, you don't really, I think that you can figure this stuff out enough to not need it. Uh-huh. Um, anyway, let me explain. So in the upper right-hand corner, there's a turn order. Okay. This is unlike Disgaea and unlike, say, Fire Emblem, where you had uh, team-based turns, uh -huh. where everybody on one side of a battle would go, they would act sort of, uh, the specific turn order was determined by, yeah. by the user. Uh-huh. Um, but everyone on a team would go at once. Mm -hmm. This is based on an individual character's speed. So it's possible for a very fast character to go, uh, like an end game type character, something with, you know, a level in the hundreds or thousands relative to an enemy like this who has a two-digit level. Yeah. Um, they might be able to go... I'll just, I'll be conservative and say five or six times. Before the enemy or before anyone else? Yeah, before anyone else gets a, gets the opportunity to move. So Holy whenever jeebs. I... Here's a great example. Whenever I highlight this enemy, you can see that the little tag in the upper right-hand corner will change. Yeah. So see, this creature will act second, and what is that? Second from the bottom. Yeah. Um, if I knock him out, thusly. Mm -hmm. Oh, so that's why you're up there a bunch of times. That's how fast you are. Right. You're just fast enough to move twice for every one of theirs. So you see, right now, if I were to just end my turn, which mm -hmm. I, I can do, I get to go again straight away. I see. Okay. That's... Phantom Brave is deeply interesting mechanically. It's a little too easy to short circuit the difficulty. Is it over? But I actually also really appreciate the story. Mm -hmm. It's kind of a shame 
On the one hand, it's good that the volume up isn't up very high, because then the music won't make me cry every 20 minutes. <laughs> oh, okay, so it's that kind of game? <laughs> well, the soundtrack is that kind of soundtrack. Okay. It's deeply moving when it's not being sort of light and disgaea E. Yeah. Really mournful strings. No, there's still... I really like... Don't panic. Uh, oh... I'm not panicking, but that doesn't look right at all. What the hell? What the hell indeed. Jasmine, Ash, get out of here. <laughs> you know what this reminds me of? Every time I'm faced Damn. with a situation that is ridiculous like this one. I'll hold them off. You two escape. Wait, what are you saying? Yeah. Is he about to- Run away. I can handle this. Everyone, no one can handle this. <laughs> everyone is about to be obliterated. Oh. It's the Princess Bride when the movie, when the narrator goes, and there they were, there he was in the pit of despair. <laughs> you know, when yeah. he pauses, oh, where was I? Ah, yes, in the pit of despair. <laughs> well, Because it's, it's so dramatic. It's interesting because... They, it's not entirely clear if you're starting, I mean, technically it's what, in medias res? Like in the middle of an event, right? Yeah, you they don't drop know you what in is going on. To the middle of an event, but it's actually a flashback mm. of sorts. Mm. Because it, it becomes, it, it's about to reveal itself to be a flashback. Uh, but it's also, it's really weird. It's a very peculiar start to the game because they try to also tutorialize in the middle of it, which I think is one of the game's failings. I'm just glad that as far as failings go, it's very minor, right? Yeah. But it is sort of awkward. I'm sorry, Marona. Remember that your parents love you. Oh, he had a family. Yeah, with Jasmine. Okay. Oh. They had a kid. Oh, God. Just once more. Lend me power one last time. Sacred power, bless our passing. Um, Miracle chartreuse! And this is another weird thing that they introduce, which is the power of chromas. Uh huh. Everyone is sort of like a color coded power. Yeah. If they're a chroma. Chartreuse, his hair. Got it. Right. Which is somewhat genetic. So from he what just I understand. prayed real hard in a realm where prayers. Do what? Magics. All right. Assorted magics. But it's it's worth pointing out that I don't think that he was actually praying to anyone. I think that he's just a religious guy. Mm -hmm. I don't think other characters do not like pray to a god to manifest their powers. Okay. So those bodies back there must be your doing. So is that character, this new guy, is this his pet? No. Ha. <laughs> No, is th this all? is something that now it's it will come out turn. fairly soon. Mm -hmm. The location, this blasted, twisting hellscape. Yeah. Uh, I believe it is called the Isle of Dread or... The Pit of Despair. Or the Forbidden <laughs> Isle. It's is Bad Place. Is Bad it's Place. It's called Bad Place. Adventurers and mercenaries are sent here with like startling regularity and nobody comes back. <laughs> and he says, "Bless me, incarnate, dark Eborius." Yeah. So see, this is this guy invoking a similar power, and he's not praying to shit. Yeah. <laughs> he's actually doing a, a the opposite. <laughs> yeah. Says, Let us do the blasphemies right here. And then he uh, two shots it <laughs> and sticks uh, it in his sword. I wouldn't want that yet. in my house. It's still not enough. <sighs> I'll need far more dark power if I'm to exact my- Okay, so he's just like, like vacuuming, just like a, like the bottom of a milkshake, like all of the nasties. But, uh, like an evil milkshake. What would an evil milkshake be? Like Probably strawberry and peanut butter? Probably red velvet cake. <laughs> red velvet cake milkshake. And now here's our actual protagonist. One oh, half. Oh no, it's an orphan. <laughs> Immediately. <laughs> oh. 
god. But it's okay because she's, she's folding adorable, laundry. she's adorable and her Marilla. parents taught her to fold laundry. Oh, please have new parents. What is it, Ash? Or someone to take care of you. Oh. She's got somebody. Huh? Holy fuck, is That's that a close. ghost? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It's a phantom, but don't worry. He's very courageous. Uh, oh fuck. He's like some sort of brave ghost, some uh, sort of phantom hero. I don't uh, know. There's probably a phrase that describes it, but I can't think right. of what it is. So we've gotten the title out of the way. You know what? I immediately oh need to take God. a break. Does this little orphan girl have a ghost babysitter cousin? Uncle. Uncle? Possibly. If not by blood, then um, just... By spirit. He is like literally a god uncle. Oh, wow. 